Hello and welcome to our video devotionals for the week of April the 23rd, 2018. Today is Monday, April the 23rd, and we've been talking through the Beatitudes in our devotionals, and I want to read verses 1 through 10 of chapter 5 of Matthew today, and seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came unto him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. And then in verse 10 today, as we look at this throughout the week, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When we start talking about persecution, you may wonder, well, how do we get encouraged by that? It's by understanding what God has called us to as followers of Jesus Christ. Most of us, if not 90% of us, have never paid attention to the persecution of Christians, either in the past, in the history of the church, or what is happening currently in our world. And so, as we start this week about talking about blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, I, I want to talk a little bit about some of the past and, and some of the future today, and then we'll begin to talk about this blessed divine happiness belongs to those who, who suffer for Christ's sake. Early Christians suffered the following. They were flung to the lions. They were burned at the stake. Nero wrapped them in pitch and used them as torches to light his gardens. They were sewn in wild animal skins and set hunting dogs after them, which would tear them apart. They were scraped with pincher-like claws of crabs. Molten lead was poured upon them. Their eyes were torn out. Parts of their bodies were cut off and roasted before them. A horrific things that have happened to Christians who have died for their faith, particularly in early Christianity. But it hasn't ended. It hasn't ended. A list generated by Open Doors USA, a nonprofit organization focused on serving persecuted Christians, shows the Middle East accounts for a majority of the countries ranked in the top 10 for extreme persecution of Christians today. In the order of, of the top 10, these countries are as follows. First of all, there's North Korea, Somalia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Sudan, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Yemen, Eritrea. Each ranks 21 according to to the Christian advocacy, advocacy groups. One in 12 Christians today experiences high, very high or extreme persecution for their faith. Nearly 250 million Christians face high persecution with 100 million of those living in Asia. The study of Global Christianity, the Center for the Study of Global Christianity, an academic research center that monitors worldwide demographic trends in Christianity, estimates that between the years 2005 and 2015, 900,000 Christians were martyred. An average of 9,000 Christians each year. From November 1, 2015 to October 31st, 2016, Open Doors documented as uh, 1,207 Christians who were killed around the globe for faith-related reasons during, the, uh, during this period. This is a conservative estimate since it only includes documented cases and does not include statistics from North Korea and large areas of Iraq and Syria. <laughs> I, I don't share those to depress you. I, I'm telling you that in America, even though there is a growing persecution of our faith, worldwide, Christians are being martyred for their faith, and concentration is in Middle East and Asian countries. 
it's it's phenomenal and i don't even know if we're concerned about it i don't know if you keep a, an awareness of it whatsoever and i want you to hear this because in, in in spite of all these things happening the bible declares jesus states but divine happiness blessed divine happiness belongs to those who are persecuted for righteousness sake as we explore this scripture this week may our prayers and Awareness of persecution cause us to seek God for his followers and cause us to remain unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus, I, I haven't experienced what so many Christians are experiencing worldwide. We still live in a country that's protected greatly, even though we've been mocked and ridiculed and made fun of here. I pray for those today who, if they will deny their faith, they will their life will be spared. And, and I pray for those that, that today, five or ten of them who are going to be slaughtered, maybe more, because they will not denounce the name of Jesus. I pray for their families. I pray for their faith. I pray encouragement to them today. And I pray, Lord, that you'd make us aware that it's just not our little circle. It's just not a little circle of friends and family and church that we might be a part of. It's You've made us a part of a large army. And I pray for those who are being persecuted highly for their faith today. I pray encouragement to the souls. I pray strength to their bodies and minds. And I pray their faith will be undeterred from the multitude of things that they're facing. And Lord, help us to be unashamed. Help me to be unashamed. Help me to be bold in my faith. Wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. I praise you for it. I, I pray, oh God, you'll encourage our hearts today that we are to be strong followers of you. Thank you. In your name, Lord. Amen. Have a great day and keep praying for the persecuted Christians in our world.